In this video, we are going to understand how to create contact and opportunity in Go High Level for new WooCommerce order. So here my objective is every time an order is created in WooCommerce, then automatically with the details of the user who has just created this order, a contact should be created in Go High Level and then an opportunity should also be created in Go High Level which is an all-in-one marketing platform. How can that be done? For this, we'll have to integrate WooCommerce with Go High Level and we can do the same using Pabli Connect. So here our trigger will be WooCommerce and our action will be Go High Level. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. In this video, we are going to understand every time an order is paid through WooCommerce, then how automatically the user who have just paid for the order is created as a contact in high level. At the same time, an opportunity is created in Go High Level. Now to do this, we have to integrate WooCommerce with Go High Level and we can do the same using Pabli Connect. Now to understand, let's start. So this here is a dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, then you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes and yes, at the time of account creation, you are going to get 100 free tasks so that you can explore this entire software. Now, once you're done with that and you reach the dashboard, on the right hand side, there's a tab, create workflow, click on this. Now this dialog box is here and here we have to name our workflow. Now here, as per my objective, I'm going to name it as create contact and opportunity in Go High Level for WooCommerce orders. I'm going to click on create. As we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger here is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of our trigger. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then automatically you receive a message on WhatsApp or an SMS. Now this happens because of automation. In such a case, your trigger application will be the payment gateway and your action application will be the applications which help in sending these messages. Now let's come to our use case. And here our trigger application will be WooCommerce. I'm going to select this. Then we have this trigger event. So here it will be new order created. So this workflow is going to run every time a new order is created in WooCommerce. Now here on the right hand side, it is written that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time, which means that this is not a polling based trigger. So here you do not have to wait for the response. Okay. Now here you can see we have received this webhook URL. Now this here is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and WooCommerce so that Pabli Connect can have access to the information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Now here you have the help text. Please read this carefully. Now let me show you exactly what you have to do. So I'm going to take you to WordPress. Now here we have got WooCommerce. Within this we have settings. Let's go to settings. Okay, here we have to go to advanced. Within advanced, we have the option webhooks. Let's click on this. Now here we have to add a webhook. I'm going to click on this. Okay, so here you can see that we have to fill in this data. First of all, the name of the webhook. So I'm going to name it as new integration test. And then the status is active. What is the topic order created? Then we have the delivery URL. So we had just copied it. Now I'm going to paste it here. Then we have the API version. Now I'm going to click on save webhook. So here you can see that our webhook has been successfully saved. Now once this is done, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to quickly recapture webhook response. And now here you can see it is waiting for webhook response. This basically means that now we have to do a test submission in the application so that the data can be recorded in the webhook response. Basically, we need to check whether Pabli Connect and WooCommerce are properly integrated or no. For that, I'm going to create an order. So I'm going to take you back to WooCommerce. 
So here we have visit store and I'm going to open this in an incognito window. So this here is the shop and now let's say that I want to buy this camera. So I'm going to add to cart. Now here as I take you down here, I'm going to click on proceed to checkout. And here we have to fill in the details. Let's say the first name here is test. The last name here is person. Then this here is the name of the company, street address, town or city name. Then we have the state, pin code, phone number. And here I'm going to add the email address of the person, which is new person. Okay, now I'm going to click on place order. And as I do that here, you can see the order has been received. So this here is the order number here. This is the payment method. We have the date, email address and the total amount that we have spent. Okay, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to see if we have received the response here. And yes, here it is. So let's quickly check the response that we have received. So here, first of all, we have the total amount. Then as I take you down, so here we have the metadata value, which is the camera. And now again, this here is the address. So we have the name of the state, postcode, last name, first name, then we have the country. Here we have the name of the company, city, then again, we have the address. This here is the payment method. This is the payment URL. Now here we have the order key. Now, once I have received this information, what do I want? I want to create or update a contact in Go High Level. So here I'm going to go down. I'm going to choose my action application as lead connector V2. Now in Pabli Connect, Go High Level is named as lead connector. And the action event here will be to create or update a contact. I'm going to click on connect. As I do that here, Public Connect wants to connect itself with Lead Connector V2 account. So here you can see I've already logged into my Go High Level account. So I'm going to select Add New Connection, connect with Lead Connector V2. As I do that here, first we have to select the account. And as we have selected it here, you can see that the authorization has been successful. So always remember whenever you are integrating different applications, first log in and then start with the integration. Now I'm going to go down and here we have to fill in this information. First of all, we have the first name. So now as I click on this, you can see the previous step here. And now when I click on this here, this is the response that we had received. Now here I'm going to look for first name. So you can see this here is the first name. Now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. So let's say that I had written the same information manually. Then even when this workflow was running in real time, it wouldn't have taken the new data. It would have only taken this test name as first name. So every time you have some static information, which means that the information is not going to change, you can just write it manually. But when the information is about to change, like every time you receive a new response, you will have new name, new phone number, new email address. So you always have to map that information. Now let's map the last name. So I'm going to click on this, go to step one. And here I'm going to look for last name. So here it is. Next, we have the full name. So here I'm going to click on this, go to step one. So first I'm going to look for first name. Then I'm going to give a space, go back here and look for the last name and here it is. So here we have the complete name. Then we have the email address of the person. So let's go here, look for the email address and here it is. Phone number. So here is the phone number. Then we have the location ID. So here it is written that either you can enter the location ID or you can just leave this blank. So this is not a required field. I'm going to leave it blank. Now, let's say if you need the location ID, you can always use this action step, which is search locations. Next, we have the address. So I'm going to click on this here and it was random street. So I'm going to select this. Then we have the city. I'm going to click on this. And again, I'm going to look for random city. Here it is. Then we have the country. So here the country was IN India. So I'm going to go down and look for it. Here it is. Then we have the state. So it has been mentioned as MP. Here it is. Then we have the postal code. So here I have to look for one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then we have the tag so if you wish to provide any tag you can always do that then we have the time zone here we have the source so provide the context source like how have you received this course you can always provide the name of the source then we have the website select true if dnd is enabled and select false if dnd is not enabled so you can do that then the name of the company so here the name of the company was public connect then we have the rest of the details now once you have filled in all the information just click on save and send test request and as you do that here you can see we have received the response so here you can see we have received the response so first of all i have received the contact id then this here is a contact country here we have received the contact location id then we have the contact website here this is the date added this here is the phone number then we have the address of the person and the rest of the details now let's go and check in go high level if this particular contact has been created so i'm going to take you to contacts and as i take you down so here you can see that yes a contact has been created and these are the details okay now what do i want next next i want to create or update an opportunity so here i'm going to add another action step and this time the application will be again lead connector v2 and then we have the action event here it will be create or update opportunity let's click on connect now here i'm going to go ahead with the existing connection and now here we have to fill in this information first of all the pipeline id so whenever you're creating these opportunities so these opportunities are always created within pipelines you can create new pipelines by clicking on this tab and here are the pipelines that i've already created now i want that every time there is a product or there is an order that we have received through woocommerce sales then the pipeline has to be woocommerce sales so here i'm going to go back and you can see that this has already been selected by the system or else you could have just clicked here and in the drop down you would have received all the details now you just had to select one next is the contact id so i'm going to map this go to step two this here is the contact id then we need the location id so here again we have the location id next is the opportunity name so i'm going to name this opportunity with the last name of the user and the name of the company so i'm going to click on this go to step two and first of all i need the last name of the person so here is the last name give a space and now i need the name of the company so this is how i'm going to name the opportunity now you can give any random name as well next we have the stage id so to provide the stage id you know you have this get pipelines action and from there you can have the stage id then we have the status so the status can be open one lost abandoned and all so it is open for me then this is assigned to this particular person and monetary value so you can always add monetary values to the opportunities that you have i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see we have received the response so i'm going to take you down so what have we received this is the opportunity id then we have the name of the opportunity the monetary value is mentioned as zero this here is the pipeline id then we have the pipeline stage id assigned to and here's the opportunity status which is open then we have the created date and time now once we have received this information let me take you back to go high level let's go to opportunities and uh, here you can see person public connect so a new opportunity has been created so this means our integration is a complete success but now let's check the same in real time so i'm going to take you back to woocommerce so this here is my woocommerce store and now i'm going to purchase another product let's say this time it is this guitar so i'm going to add it to the cart and now here i'm going to go down click on proceed to check out so here we have to fill in the details let's say the first name here is person dummy then here is the name of the company and uh, here i'm going to change the email address which is person dummy okay now i'm going to place order so here we can see that the order has been received now as this order is received here what should happen first this contact should be created what is the name of the person person dummy so here let's search for the same and yes here you can see person dummy this particular contact has been created 
and now I'm going to take you to opportunities. So here we can see person Pabli Connect. So this is the name of the opportunity that has just been created. So this means our integration is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger was WooCommerce where the event was new order created. Then our action application was Lead Connector V2 which is go high level. And here our event was first to create or update a contact and then to create or update opportunity. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.